Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video we are going to be talking about the brand new Pokemon Cyclozar that was introduced at Worlds over the weekend. Cyclozar is a brand new Pokemon introduced in Scarlet and Violet. They introduced it at the closing ceremonies of Worlds over the weekend. And by the set, by the way, Worlds was awesome. If you didn't get a chance to watch any of the streams over the weekend of all of the video game and trading card action, you absolutely have to next year. It was incredible. The commentary was great. And it was overall just a great event for Pokemon to promote itself around the world. So a big round of applause to Pokemon for always putting on such a great event. But they ended the events with an announcement, a trailer both for the trading card game and for the video game. We got the reveal of EX Pokemon in the new Scarlet and Violet trading card set that will be launching next year, and then they ended things with a trailer for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the main feature of which was to show off a bunch of new competitively viable items and moves for different Pokemon, some abilities that are going to be introduced that'll make some interesting adjustments to the battle systems, and our first look at Terra types being used in battle. So they revealed all of that and showed off some more gameplay of Scarlet and Violet, but one of the things they also revealed was a brand new Pokemon. As of now, a one-stage Pokemon, a dragon and normal type by the name of Cyclozar. Now, it looks a little rough in its official artwork, I have to say. I am not the biggest fan of its art, but in-game, its 3D model looks really cool. Cyclozar is, of course, as I mentioned, a dragon normal type. It has some versatility in the overworld on top of its battle prowess. It's going to be a Pokemon that you can attach essentially a bike head to and ride around the region. So it's another motorcycle bike-esque Pokemon on top of Coridon and Maridon that you're going to be able to use to explore the region of Paldea. Some of the interesting things that they revealed about Cyclozar come from its Pokemon website information. It says that people have used Cyclozar Cyclozar since ancient times as members of their homes to travel around. It is a Pokemon that people have been connected to for centuries. I love when Pokemon uses lore bits like this to really envelop the Pokemon in the lore of the region, in the lore of the people that live there. Cyclozar is no different. Something that people have also noticed is that it does have a lot of similarities to a former dragon type Pokemon, Axew, which was introduced in Generation 5. Its color scheme is the same, its curvature and design elements are very similar. It's a very similar looking dragon raptor kind of Pokemon design. We don't know yet if there's any real relations between Cyclozar and the Axew family, but there are some design elements that are similar that I think is also worth mentioning. But one of the big discussion points with Cyclozar as of now is its possible connection to the legendary box art mascots of these games, Coridon and Maridon. Of course, uh, Cyclozar is a Pokemon that can be ridden on across the region. We see it used in battle on top of a trainer being mounted on its back and exploring the open world of Paldea. That, of course, is very similar to what we saw in recent trailers with Coridon and Maridon. You can get on their backs, ride across the region with them, fly across the region, get in the ocean with them. These Pokemon are your all-encompassing bikes on top of being the mascot legendaries. So the fact that we're getting a, another Dragon-type Pokemon introduced with the same element makes some people think that maybe it's going to be a pre-evolution for Coridon and Maridon. And while I think that it's very possible that this is how we receive Coridon and Maridon in the game, I think there are some interesting things we've seen in the trailer that might tell a different story. Now, before we go any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. And check out the join tab, see if the perks interest you, and if you want to go the extra mile in supporting me, that is also always greatly appreciated. There is some evidence to suggest that Cyclozar might actually just be a one-stage dragon normal type. On top of being a dragon normal type on the official Pokemon website, at least for the most part on the Japanese version of the website, it sections Pokemon off into different categories. Legendary Pokemon in one category, the starters and other Pokemon of Paldea in a different category. Cyclozar, as of now, is in the really basic Pokemon category. It's not with Coridon and Maridon. It's not spoken of as a legendary in any of the marketing material. And the only connection between Coridon and Maridon right now is the fact that you can ride on it and that it's a dragon type. 
other than that, there are no solid connections to Coridon and Maridon. The color scheme of the Pokemon isn't even that similar. And while I do think that there is a very strong chance that it is a Cosmog of this game, it is a base form that you get given early on, and that's how you eventually get access to the legendary Pokemon, some of the gameplay we've seen of Coridon and Maridon in Scarlet and Violet so far leads you to think that we're going to have them in that form very early. We've seen a lot of trekking about the region on these Pokemon in the most recent Presents trailer, and unless they're intentionally altering the gameplay to show us these Pokemon in their form, even though we're not actually going to have access to them early on, I find it interesting that so much of the marketing material uses Coridon and Maridon as your ride Pokemon, even if you're not going to be able to start with them in the game and you'll have Cyclozar. I think it's also worth noting that Cyclozar has its own lore seeped into the Pokemon region. People have used this Pokemon in their homes, as I mentioned before, since ancient times. How many Coridon and Maridon are just out there that could eventually evolve from Cyclozar? These are legendary Pokemon said to have powers rivaling some of the most powerful legendaries in the game. That is some of the blurbs of information we've gotten on these two legendaries in reveals past. They just can evolve in any person's home that has a Cyclozar? Is there something special that goes on with this Cyclozar in Scarlet and Violet that allows it to evolve into Coridon and Maridon? And if that was the case, why would Cyclozar itself have a, a usage in battle that is interesting for competitive? It is competitively viable, as they discussed in the trailer. There's a lot of weird things about Cyclozar that make it seem very unique it might not be a Cosmog of this generation for those reasons. It might just be a dragon type that is also a Pokemon that you can ride around the region with. If that's the case, I would expect there to be a bunch of other Pokemon that get revealed as the months come along that you can use as ride Pokemon. It's not just going to be Coridon and Maridon. You're going to be able to have other ride Pokemon on your squad that also serve the same function. Maybe this does mean that you're going to have Coridon and Maridon as Pokemon in your party and you you can actually swap them out for others, or maybe it is what I've speculated on in the past, and Coridon and Maridon can be used as a ride function even while not being in your party until you actually have them join you as partners near the climax of the game, just to help with difficulty scaling, not making the game too easy, having a legendary right off the bat, and maybe Cyclozar and other Pokemon like it are Game Freak's fix to that. I understand that Cyclozar shares some surface deep connections to the legendaries and I think that its reveal is interesting and I think that the fact that it is a dragon type that has similar features is also of note but in a region that emphasizes travel so much because of its open world it's baked into almost everything we've seen in these games so far I think it makes a lot of sense that Game Freak would introduce a Pokemon on its own that embodies some of those traits and it's not just the legendaries of the region that embody those same traits but those are just my thoughts I think there's a lot going for Cyclozar being a legendary, and I must say, aside from all the evidence and parsing out what is fact right now and what is fiction, I'm personally not a big fan of using legendaries on my six-man roster. So if Cyclozar is its own Pokemon, given its lore implications and the fact that I love Pokemon that are weaved into the history of the region, I think I'd be much more likely to want to use Cyclozar on my team if it is its own thing. That's just me. What do you guys think, though? Let me know down in the comments section. Do you think Cyclozar is a pre-evolution to Coridon and Maridon, or do you think it's its own Pokemon? Let me know down below. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss new Scarlet and Violet videos. My name has been Linky, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.